Hello everyone. So in this tutorial, I am going to show you and and teach you the basics of graph or n graph, so called in Linux. So if you type, uh, so if you open a terminal in Linux and type man graph, you can see it's a document formatting system, meaning that you can format documents in in this in this program. Uh, even even this uh, man page is written in graph but you can even write pdfs in it so i'm going to show you today how to write how to uh, how to start using graph for note taking and stuff like that okay so um, most of the time graph is an inbuilt command so you can uh, you can check that graph is installed by simply typing man graph if a doc if a document comes out this means that graph is installed and this this should also work in mac os as mac os is linux based uh, so uh, so yeah after you have graph installed this should not be pretty hard so if you are on debian based systems you can just type sudo apt install graph if you're on arch based system you can type sudo pacman minus is graph which as you can see i already have it's reinstalling i'll decline this so after you have uh, after you have installed or seen that you have installed graph you can you can just create a file with whatever name you want um, I I I am going to use nvim, which is a text editor. You can uh, you can use whatever text editor you want. So I am going to name the uh, first. Let me create a directory. I'll make the I'll give the name as graph uh, graph tutorial one tutorial one. I'll see it into it. And now I'll create a file named let's say. Um, main dot ms this ms is optional but you can add it uh, because uh, no before that I'll, uh, I uh, I want to discuss why I use this ms at the end so graph by default graph is basically um, wait I'll just show you as you can see uh, graph does not ha have syntax or office zone it has different macro packages which will give you the ability to you know give titles author etc so there are a lot of uh, uh, macro packages like this graph man is used uh, is used for giving man pages like this showing man pages uh, there is graph underscore mom this is a very popular uh, one and graph underscore ms i use this graph underscore ms so um, by default uh, uh, graph has macro packages so you can even uh, show uh, give graph underscore ms you can even see the man page of graph underscore ms so as you can see uh, it will show you the syntax of uh, of this macro package but i am going to use this so uh, yeah so i'll give the ms uh, i'll give the ms extension at the end so after you have uh, named your file this is not required this is this part is not required but i just like to give the name like this so when i hit enter it opens a it opens a vim buffer you can use whatever you want i am using vim so i have sh i have uh, shortcuts in vim which does uh, which does you, you know which adds snippets to them so for example if i type a specific command it will give a template but i'll not use it for now i'll give i'll show you my vim setup some other time um, i'll yeah so as you can uh, graph by uh, graph graph or end graph so most of the time for the first thing you need a document is first the first thing in a document you will need is a title so for adding a title in graph you can just type dot tl 
in the macro package of course in the ms macro package so dot tl and then hit enter in the name of the document i'll just say uh, graph tutorial 1 uh, after this you can do dot au for author i'll give my name and then after this you can uh, you can uh, add a heading first level heading by dot nh um, you can remember this by new heading and then the level of the heading one by default it's one but you can do two three etc so by default this will be one but just for demonstration i'll uh, give one here and then i can type the name of the name of the heading i'll just say uh, graph is is awesome and then for creating a paragraph you can just type dot pp for paragraph um, you know before that i'll just show you how to compile a graph document so open another terminal go to the folder where you have created your graph document and then for creating a for compiling graph document you can just type graph and this the and then the macro package you are using so i am using the ms macros i am just i'll i'll just type dash ms for the ms macros and then space and then uh just the name of the file so main.ms uh, uh, as you can see it has uh, printed out uh, a lot of stuff on the terminal uh, this is postscript by default graph will print out the uh, output in postscript uh, you can even use this you know by piping this to main.ps but uh, i will show you how to uh, output something into pdf so you can just type dash t capital t and then pdf without spaces you can even add spaces if you want but after this uh, you can just uh, give the uh, after you hit enter as you can see uh, this now this uh, is in pdf format so then you can just output this uh, this content into a file so uh, i'll just give the name of the file output.pdf and then i'll hit enter now if i list the uh, direct uh, files in the directory as you can see there is an output.pdf file in it now if I, oh, I if, uh, if I open this file as you can see it's it's giving us uh, uh, the title then the uh, author and then the heading we have just given here so um, wait a second yeah so i'll just uh, i'll do this default yeah so i'll just go in uh, the folder once again <coughs> so now after this uh, you can add a uh, you can add a paragraph by just typing dot pp for paragraph and then you can just type the paragraph text i'll just say the quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog and i'll paste this a lot of times as you can see i am <coughs> pasting the contents of i i'm pasting it in new lines graph by default graph does not uh, uh, you know if you even uh, break the lines by <coughs> by giving it in different lines <coughs> graph will by default uh, uh, add this in in a line so if you want to break uh, if you want to go to the next line you have to add two and uh, two returns you have to press two returns but <coughs> for the tutorial i am just going to do this i'll show you how to do that uh, i'll sh I i'll demonstrate the line uh, line breaks too but now after this i'll just save uh, i'll just save the file and then I'll uh, again compile it. So grov dash ms minus t pdf, and then main dot ms, and I'll pipe pipe that to output dot pdf. 
so this PDF viewer automatically uh, you know automatically updates the file if the files changed this PDF viewer is called Zathura so now uh, you can ch check it out if you want now if I hit enter as you can see it has given us the text our, our uh, paragraph text as you can see it is concatenating the all the strings together let's say I want uh, I want to break this I can just add another enter I, I, I can just add another new line here now I'll just uh, recompile it and as you can see it has braked on the second line So you can also create an or, uh, new paragraphs again by doing the same thing. I'll just uh, I'll just paste this a lot of times, and I'll just again recompile. As you can see, it is very nicely formatted. Uh, it is very nicely formatted as you can see so this is <coughs> basics for creating paragraphs now let's say I want to create a second level heading I can just do dot nh2 nh2 and I'll give um, let's say um, let's say second level heading second uh, level heading I'll save this I'll recompile and as you can see oh, as you can see that it has automatically numbered the heading and also uh, it has automatically made this the second level heading by adding the number in front now you can even add text in this also paste this uh, see so yeah only by the only by this much knowledge you can easily create nice uh, nice uh, you can easily use graph but uh, most of the time you will need you know some formatting like uh, bolding etc bolding italic uh, italics so I'm I'll just uh, I'll just you know delete every single thing so after this um, let's say I want uh, I, uh, I'll like, after this I'll show you about uh, formatting text so I'll create a new paragraph yeah by default the commands like uh, you know the dot au dot tl etc should always be at the start of a line <coughs> All this, uh, this is uh, <coughs> this can look very you know ugly uh, when you look at the code but it has some reasons uh, which I'll not go through now but I may go in some other video so after you have uh, so uh, I'll just add text like this is some random text and I want this text to be bold uh, let's say I want the text bold to be board okay so I want to make uh, this uh, bold uh, word which is this one this one to be bold so for doing that uh, you can just do uh, you can just hit enter and then you can just type uh, dot b and then in uh, in 
quotation marks and then the rest of the things uh, below so as you can see the command is at the front uh, at the beginning of a line that's very important okay so after this uh, if I run this command again as you can see it is uh, it has made the text bold in, in here uh, there is a lot of things like you can even add I for italics think so yes so I for italics then you can also do BX this is a very cool one if you run this as you can see it has boxed the text and you can also do I think U U L I think so I, I, I don't remember no yes this should be U L and if I compile as you can see it has underlined the text and yeah this uh, this is the basics of graph I'll go through some other features of graph in the next tutorial um, I'll go through macros in the next tutorial I think so so yeah the thanks for uh, watching please like share and subscribe I'll if you are interested in uh, things like cyber security uh, coding etc I'll 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 post new videos Every, uh, every, every once in a while thank you and see you next time